I bought this $70 AI chip thinking I could run LLMs on it. I was completely wrong. But what I did end up using it for was maybe much better than what it was intended for. If you remember from my previous video, I showed you how I built from a Raspberry Pi connected to two mics and a speaker, how you can talk to it and it would transcribe that to text then that text would go to an AI agent, get transcribed and get you an answer in audio playing on the speaker. It was one of those smart voice features that you see in a chat GPT or perplexity app. But a few issues with the implementation is when you record audio, it's a few megabytes at times and sending that over Wi-Fi, getting that transcribed and getting it back from a Raspberry Pi takes a little bit of time. The second issue is when you're speaking and let's say you ask it a question, could you tell me a story about the moon? And then it does its normal thing of sending it to the server transcribing it and as it's thinking about the answer and then it gets the answer and it's playing on the speaker you go oh actually I wanted the answer for tell me a story about Mars but when it's saying that over the speaker the microphones can pick up the audio from the speaker and then not listen to what you are saying it's the same concept as Apple HomePods or Google smart speakers the Alexas they have really smart features on the fact that when they are saying a answer on the speaker like an audio is playing that doesn't get picked up by the microphones even if it it does it gets canceled out so it can listen to other humans that's why apple has done a fantastic job of the six microphones and multiple speakers that they have on their home pods even if you're far away there's audio playing on it there's loud music and you say the word it still listens to you that's something I wanted to create with a combination of software and hardware. The issue is the microphone would pick up the answer from the AI agent playing on the speaker and then it would stop. I could set up thresholds where I could say, okay, if the audio is above this threshold, only then think that it's a human talking, not the speaker playing an audio. But after days of tinkering, it just did not work. Then I realized I have this AI hat. Can it actually take audio and transcribe that to text using some open air whisper models? After digging into a little bit and testing something out, I figured out that the company Halo AI has been working on a library that allows you to do the exact same thing. These are not like off the shelf hugging face models, but these are custom built models for the Halo AI chip specifically that they have optimized. So you can run some of the smallest models, but they're fairly accurate. Raspberry Pi can pick up audio from the microphones, send that to the Halo AI chip, get it transcribed, and then send it out wherever you want it to. So that's exactly what I'm trying to do. As I start talking, it transcribes the audio every five seconds. And this reduces the whole thing about sending the audio from your device to a server. Everything runs locally. From the conversations I've had with people about my device, they all have privacy concerns about their audio being recorded and sent to a server. So all of that happening on device is actually really cool. Once the text is generated from the Halo AI chip, that goes to the Raspberry Pi running a very small Quinn 3 model from Olama, and then it gets an answer from a question that you asked. So if you asked, could you tell me a story about the moon? The audio gets transcribed on the Halo AI chip, gets converted into text, that text is then sent to the Raspberry Pi and then Raspberry Pi can take it, run a Quinn model with some AI agent prompts and then give you an answer. Now that's the next step that I haven't worked through yet. Do I want the answer to be said on a screen? Like you can just see the text flowing or should I have another AI model that converts text to speech and that audio can be played on a speaker? That is something I haven't looked into, but Edge AI for consumers is getting really good. If you have a phone like this iPhone, it actually can do all of that on device much, much better. I did try to do all of the same things on the Orion Jetson Nano that I have here. You can flash an SD card with the operating system for this and run it, but then for much faster IO speeds, they ask you to use a NVMe SSD. Well, if you see, I do have an NVMe SSD here and I have gotten it to work before, but I wanted to reflash the operating system because I've used it for different projects. But to do that, you need a Windows computer. Why do I need a Windows computer to then connect this with a cable to flash the operating system on the NVMe SSD? I can just take the SD card, flash it from my Mac or any device that could take an SD card and then flash it with the operating system. I hope there was a way that I can run something while the Jetson is booted up on the SD card and then using that whole device, just flash the operating system on the NVMe SSD and I can just unplug the SD card. Everything will just boot from the NVMe SSD. I don't know why that's hard 
if there's a solution that you think has worked and I just don't know about it, please let me know that in the comments. This has been a whole process because running all these AI models locally on a device, the Jetson Nano is actually a pretty good contender for all of that. A NVIDIA product running CUDA, which is optimized for a lot of these AI workflows, everything from whisper models to transcribe your speech to text during LLMs. And I'm sure there's some open source model that also allows you to convert it from text to speech. All of that can actually run super well on this device if only the way to boot it up would be much easier. That is my rant for the device. It is very annoying. I hope they end up fixing this. It is $250 and the Raspberry Pi setup is about 180. It is close to the 250, but the lower that we can bring it, the better. During my research, I came across this company called Orange Pi, and they're a little better Raspberry Pi with a better NPU to do a lot of these AI tasks, but doesn't have a great community software support. Also, their website looks sketchy. So if someone from Orange Pi is watching this, fix your website, your marketing seems like a sketchy product fix that and I may try it one day. Once I can get everything running on here, I think it would end up being really cool being a device that can sit on people's desk and answer their questions all locally without having to use the internet or any of their other devices. You see from the video that I have different microphones connected on the breadboard for the mics to pick up audio. I actually found this little hat from ReSpeaker. I haven't used it yet, but this solves a lot of my problems where it's a simple hat that can go on the Raspberry Pi 5, has two microphones and and it has these IO specifically for the speaker and speakers I bought from Amazon. I think I can directly plug it in here and it has an amp built into it. So I don't even need the amp that I bought from AliExpress with the speaker. And this simplifies a lot of the wiring that I've had issues with. So in the next video, what you can expect is me using this, simplifying the cable, having a casing for it and getting everything on the audio part working correctly and getting a answer for the questions you ask all running locally. Hopefully by the time I make the next video, Halo AI community has made the support of running the whisper models much better optimized and much faster. And they'll just improve the quality on this little device. It's a very exciting project that I've gotten to work. I would love to hear what you think about it. Any feedback that you may have, please let me know in that comments. I hope that you learned something new and until next time, peace.